I am getting ready to go out for the day. My plan is to stop by Hobby Lobby. I'm looking for some denim fabric because I want to make Vogue 2051, this pattern right here. And I want to make view, is that view A? I think that's view A. Yes, view A. I want to make view A. So I'm going to see if I can find some fabric today. I love me a good burrito, especially in the morning. So I'm going to add Del Taco and I'm about to get a burrito. And I'm going to have to be really careful because I like to put hot sauce on my burrito and I don't want to get it on my white shirt. Oh, I'll be so disappointed. So I'm going to be like extra, extra careful. Maybe I'll put a napkin on like a bib. That might help. That way if anything splatters, it'll catch it. I already started stuffing napkins <laughs> on my shirt. They're probably gonna be like, what in the world? Yes, hot please. 216, that's not bad at all. Thank you. You too, thanks a lot. I went to Joanne Fabrics yesterday looking for some fabric and I didn't see anything that I really, really wanted there. So I'm just taking my chances at Hobby Lobby. I have this light colored denim in mind for the pants. So hopefully I can find some at Hobby Lobby. If not, I may go back to my favorite place, which is the fabric outlet. I love that place. I decided to stop by a different Joanne Fabrics. And this is the denim that I had in mind. They didn't have this at the other one. So I think I'm going to get this. They don't have very much. So it's a little bit on this bolt. And then I took some off of this bolt. I think they're the same. One looks a little lighter, kind of. Huh, this one looks a little lighter. But yeah, I think I'm just going to grab these two pieces. And then that will give me what I want. I wanted two and an eighth, but can you tell me what the length would be of each piece? Of each of these pieces? Yes. They oh, both, they're on top. Okay. Yeah, one was on. Them off the bolt. Right. I need to know which is which. Yeah. That's the problem. I needed to know which bolt is which. Yeah, I don't know which one is yeah, which. I'm sorry. I, that's, yeah. Give me a second, then I gotta figure that out. I think they're the same. Remember, uh, no, for inventory purposes, I have we have to know which is which. So that's why. No, no, you're right. They are exactly the same. They don't look at all the same. That's why I assumed they were different. So that's bizarre. Okay. Well, as long as it doesn't matter, I'll measure the thing. But yeah, at different dye lot, but they. It's weird. That's that's a big difference. I actually stopped at Hobby Lobby and I didn't see any light colored denim there that I wanted so I was headed to the fabric outlet and then that's when I was like let me just stop at one more Joanne Fabrics just to see what they have so I got lucky and I ended up getting exactly what I wanted now one thing I love about Joanne Fabrics is that you will get a discount for the end of the bolt and for each of these pieces, they were considered the end of the bolt. So I did get a little discount and that is good. And I also picked up a couple of spools of thread and a zipper, all for this project, except one. One spool of thread was just some army green because I just needed a little bit more. The more brown your bananas get, the sweeter they become. And what I like to do is cut them up and I'll put them in a bag like this and then I'll make smoothies. So that's actually what I'm about to do right now. I am going to put my fabric in the washing machine and then I'll get ready to start cutting the pattern. But yeah, I'm gonna make myself a smoothie first and relax while my fabric is washing. I'm going to cut out a size eight. This pattern is rated as average. These are the two views. So this is view A. There are nine pattern pieces for view A. They have darts in the back two of them actually. 
and then you have your waistband and carriers I usually don't put carriers but I think I'm gonna put them on these and then also back pockets there's a fly front zipper that's finished with a hook and eye here are the darts that are in the back a total of four and then this is the front and I put the zipper in and then you have your pockets I had some rivets so I added some to the bottom of the front pockets and then also I put some on the back I'm working on the carriers right now I'm so glad I decided to add carriers I tried the pants on and they are really loose I made an 8 but I could have gotten away with making a size 6 so I may end up actually wearing a belt with these sometimes. I ended up taking off over three inches in the hem area. I used darker denim for the waistband and I need to just put the one hook and eye on and then I'll be done. Step 26 says to put some ease stitches around the upper edge. I put the ease stitching around the whole upper edge and when I tried the pants on the waistband was way too tight and I believe it was because I did my ease stitching wrong so I took the whole waistband off I'm going to just cut out another piece put a new waistband on and then when I do my ease stitching I'm going to do the ease stitching from here to the notch in the back and then from here to the notch in the back so there's a notch here notch to notch meaning front notch to back notch so there won't be any ease stitching in here i absolutely love this pattern if you like it i highly recommend it it was not hard to make it did take a little time though and i'm so glad that i redid the waistband I had a little bit of this fabric left over enough to make a top so I'm working on McCall's 8200 I want to make view C and I want the sleeves to be this ruffled area here this is what I have so far this is just the top of the bodice attached to the bottom of the bodice and I haven't done the back or anything yet but I want the sleeves to be in plaid and then the rest to be in this gingham. I am getting ready to go out of town and I was getting together all the different things that I want to take on this trip. So I pulled everything out and then I put it on the floor and I'm gonna fold it up and put it in my suitcase nicely. But meanwhile, let me put this down. I finished the top and I love the shearing that's in the back of the top. I really like the sleeves too. And of course I love the fabric. So let me tell you all, I have a cousin that's been dating the same person for over 20 years, right? And guess what? They're getting married. Yes, they are finally getting married. So I'm excited for them. And the wedding is going to be in a couple days in Vegas. This is my road trip to Vegas outfit, which is a romper. Very comfortable and perfect for riding in a car for a while. I brought some snacks for the road. I have some chips and salsa from a restaurant. And then this is a bowl full of watermelon that I cut up. I have a slight headache and I told my husband I took one Excedrin. He was like, you think you need two with your big old head? You want some uh, watermelon? Not right now. I'm trying to decide if I want watermelon first or salsa first. Maybe I'll eat the salsa because it's hot and then the watermelon can cool it down. Because this salsa is spicy. Treasure Island and the parking is free so that is wonderful we are meeting my mom here other family members are here too but we're gonna start out meeting my mom and having dinner with her she's waiting for us in the hotel uh, all right.
Treasure Island. We are on the seventh floor with the one king bed. I did upgrade it into a panoramic room, so you should have a little more room in there. Elevators go through this hallway, and you'll make your first lap. Thank no you. Problem. Have an amazing night, guys. Thank you. Our room was all the way at the end of the aisle. I mean, we're like, let me show you. This is the end, and then this is us, and that's the hallway. And we came off the elevator way down there. We got our steps in tonight. I just recently got out of the bed and I'm getting ready to go and have lunch with Myra, my sewing friend Myra. I'm going to wear these Simplicity shorts. It looks like a skirt, but they're shorts. And then I'm going to pair it with this J. Crew shirt. And then I'm also planning to put on a bodysuit with this because it's going to be like over 100 degrees and that way if I want to take off my shirt. I can and I'll have a sleeveless bodysuit on under the shirt. The wedding is also today at 3, so I have plenty of time to hang out with Myra, then come back to the room and change for the wedding. They actually have a Krispy Kreme donuts in this hotel in the lobby. My husband went down to get some donuts. And I was thinking about what I want to eat when I go to the restaurant. Last night, all I got was a bowl of beans. It's a Mexican food restaurant. Today, I think I'm going to just get some guacamole and some chips. And my mom asked if I wanted to go to a soul food restaurant later on. So we may do that sometime today too, which should be pretty cool. Hello? Yes. 2.45 for the wedding, right? They said be there yeah, by? Be there by 2.45. Be there by 2.45. Driving or walking? Hmm? I just earned it. Yeah, I do. You would never believe, look at all the wrinkles, cause they're that linen stuff. You want me to meet you down here? In the lobby? Uh huh, bye bye. All right, so I'm gonna meet in the lobby and then I'll just come back and see you guys at the wedding. All right, so it's like a plan. All right. This is what I'm wearing. We're rushing, but this is my gingham vintage dress. Well, now, how did you know you were ready now? Well, all about my age. Okay. And I know I'm not starting over with nobody. And I've been with her long enough okay. to know that, you know, I at least don't have a thief on my hand. It's still, it's still it from me. You know, that's still <laughs> right, a good right, thing. Right. You know, and, and uh, we got to know each other. Grow to know each other. Deal with her deficiency, so to, sp so to speak. Okay. And, and she dealing with mine. All right. So, you know, uh, you we get to know each other. We start a relationship. Yeah. Who knows was in the closet of other people? You know, so I do know her. She knows me. Holding her hand, I look into her eyes. I promise to love you. I promise to love you. And with the authority given to me by the state of Nevada, I now officially pronounce you husband and wife. We did make it to Pretty Soul Kitchen for some soul food. We got macaroni, greens, fish, cornbread, all the goodies. Y'all, we're laughing because we were riding in the cab, right? <laughs> and my aunt was riding in the front. <laughs> Y'all gotta tell the whole story. So we were riding in the cab and the fare was $13. My mom gave my aunt 20 and I gave my aunt we get to this stop. We're at Planet Hollywood to get some popcorn. And my aunt, I don't know what she was thinking, but she gave the man, the driver, the whole $25. So we get out of the car and my mom's like, okay, where's my change? She's like, what change? I gave him all that money. She said she didn't know. So we're laughing and 
been giving her a hard time. My mom and my husband are telling her, you can't sit in the front anymore. So anyway, we're just laughing, having a good time. But I'm getting some Garrett's popcorn because I haven't had it in years. After getting popcorn, my husband and I walked back to our hotel room. We had a great time.